Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating a few apps right here on your Mac. So on the top left hand side of your Mac, you will see the app logo on the app logo. Your third option will be the app store system updates will always be under system preferences. However, any apps will be under the app store. So let's just click right there. Now, it doesn't really matter if you guys have a MacBook, iMac, MacBook Pro, anything really Mac mini. It's all the same for all of them. So right here we have a few updates. I can see that OneDrive has been updated since February 15. That's my last one. And then we have all these updates that are right here. So let's say you guys are looking for Microsoft Word update and it's not here for any reason. Just go up here where it says search and just look for that specific one. So we're just going to type in Microsoft Word. I'm going to look for it. Once we see it, we should see update right here on the top right hand side of it, or we can always click on it. And once we clicked on it, we should also see update right on the top right hand side once again. So we can update them from here. For example, I'm just going to tap on there, update it. And now I'm just going to go back to updates, which is my very last option down here below. I'm going to look at the other ones. So right now, as you guys can see, Microsoft Word is updating. Now it's like, really minor update so it's not going to take long at all so if i click on more i can see it's only a gig a gig for some people can take 15 minutes others five two minutes or even a whole day if you guys have really slow internet so it's really up to your internet speed how long this update will take but it is a gig anyways right here we also have excel so i'm going to update that one we're going to take a look at it so it does tell me that it's almost a gig it's 813 megabytes now let's go into Microsoft OneNote update. We're going to look at how big this is. Only about 400 megabytes, which is tiny. Then Microsoft Outlook update, click on more. And we can see that it's only 797 megabytes. So again, kind of small. And Microsoft PowerPoint. Click on more. We're going to see 700 megabytes. All right, so if you guys are installing all of these at once, sure, it's going to take longer than doing one at a time. So you guys can see my internet speed right now is okay-ish, so that's why they're downloading pretty fast. However, again, downloading all of them and updating all of them at the same time will take longer than doing one at a time. You guys can just leave this. You guys can even close the App Store at this point, and they're going to just update them by themselves. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.